Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello. I like to capture my thoughts uh, this morning with the words infernal preoccupation. Infernal, that means hellish, demonic preoccupation. Now, now, now do, do, I'm still on the story of Saul and David and Saul in his latter stages. He was so preoccupied. The Bible said he was hunting David like nobody else. He was so preoccupied with, with wiping David out that the people who should rather be his enemies, that is the Philistines, he didn't have time for them. One way or the other, he was so distracted by the living presence of David that the worst enemy, those who will kill him one day, instead of dealing with them, he was rather preoccupied with the, with the wrong person. And he was pursuing the wrong person. The Philistines are there to be dealt with and Saul is chasing one little boy, one young man. There are many battles to win. There are greater victories to have. But he's, he's, he has been so distracted that he can't see the real enemy. And rather he sees in that young man his enemy. That young man was not his enemy. He was not his enemy. That young man was a lifesaver. That young man was a covenant uh, person. That young man had removed his shame. He should have fought Goliath, but he was afraid to fight Goliath. And that young man went and fought Goliath for him. He even tried to dress up the young man like him. You know, sometimes in life, your real warfare, instead of concentrating on your real warfare, you'll be chasing somebody else who has got nothing to do with your warfare. And you are so distracted because you are filled with envy and jealousy. And instead of sorting out your real warfare, you know, you attribute your poverty to somebody else. When you are lazy and you wouldn't do anything, you attribute your state of life to somebody who has not done anything when you should have done something about in your life. And we get preoccupied with those people. And instead of concentrating on the main enemy, we rather concentrate on innocence, people who've done nothing. Now that is a tragedy. Because the, if you take your eye off the ball, if you take your eye off your real enemy, your real warfare, and you concentrate on an imaginary warfare that is non-existent, in the end, the strength of your enemy that you have taken your eye off will be growing stronger. It will, it will wax stronger and stronger and stronger. And in the end, they'll kill you because you, instead of concentrating on them, you're concentrating on something. You are distracted. Don't be distracted by the progress of other people. Don't be distracted by the success of other people. Don't be distracted by the prosperity of other people. Concentrate on your purpose. And see what God will do out of your life. Win your war. That is your war. Not that one. Leave them alone. They are innocent. Well. Choices are always ours. See you later.